What's good, YouTube? We got more NBA 2K22 news. It's something I know a lot of y'all not going to sleep on. And it's important for grinding a player, no matter how you grind a player. I'm not even going to lie. Whether you're in my career, a wreck, you feel me? But hit that like button if you like the video and sub up. So the first thing we're going to get into, so y'all understand what y'all looking at and everything. 2K saying right here. Managing and editing your badges is easy by saving custom badge layouts specific to your my player. So you see in the corner right here, we got specific badge layouts. So the badge layouts is for if you're trying to play a different style. So for example, if you a point guard and your man running point guard on your squad for for you feel me a few games, you can go to your badge layouts and just select one they might even let you edit the name of it you feel me and you could just type in something something that'll let you know like if you want to play wing or if you want to play shooting guard you feel me in the rec or anything like that and instead of having your point guard layout you can have a whole point guard layout shooting guard layout for whenever you switch in your position on the floor so that's tough you could really focus on your badges better you feel me instead of having to go switch your badges up all the time and you could really just have a lineup for example for your shooting badges you could have most of your badges on spot up type badges and everything versus if you're playing point you got more difficult shots badges on circus threes type badges you feel me badges like that but you see we got more badges bro we got new badges in the game and you see right here they showing you we still got ankle breaker we still got bullet passer floor general hyperdrive that's a new badge and that's really different bro because it's a playmaking badge it sounds like something that's relentless finisher fearless finisher but it's a playmaking badge you feel me so i don't really know like bro we got quick first step coming back so it can't be quick first step we got yeah, we we gonna do some thinking, bro. For real, for real. But we got quick chain, special delivery, quick chain. That seemed like they might give us a badge that actually make you dribble faster, though, because they got handles for days in here. So it's not even like it could be that, bro. You feel me? Like boys really looking through these badges, trying to <laughs> try to figure it out. But we got special delivery coming back, triple thread juke. That's gonna be a new badge, bro. And it seemed like like you might be able to get people to bite off the triple threat it's probably not going to be a good badge <laughs> you feel me from 2k history and everything like how they do badges like that it's just probably not gonna work bro but you feel me we got bailout coming back dimer glue hands i'm not sure what glue hands would be bro because look down we got unpluckable coming back so it can't be that needle threader coming back quick first step stop and go unpluggable break starter and you feel me yeah, we got a lot of returning badges bro so it's not even like they replaced one of those badges with glue hands glue hands seem like it would be a defensive badge like interceptor or pickpocket something like that but that's that's different bro <laughs> you feel me we got break starter downhill handles for days coming back all of those and you now got a post playmaker badge not exactly sure what that's gonna do it's probably gonna give you like like uh bites in the post you feel me you might hit somebody with a just like nah hold on because post playmaker like it's it's not even just like for your post moves bro like i don't know bro <laughs> you feel me that's different they might give you a badge that just give you a boost on playmaking in the post bro like whether it's post moves or passing out of the post bro you feel me that'd be different if they give you a badge that give you two different abilities like that that's fire but that that's probably not what it's gonna be though i ain't, I ain't even gonna try to steer y'all wrong or nothing like that that'd just be fire but next badges we got space creator and tight handles coming back and bro that's that's fire bro like they got new badges coming back that we know is not just replaced badges like badges they just threw in there and another thing bro yo look at the top of this screenshot bro it says zero for 32 shooting badges 
that's tough, bro. So it looked like they're gonna let us start the game off getting like 32 shooting badges, bro. You feel me? Like before you even get your legend badges, cause this this bill say zero for 18, zero for 32. Like, like, bro, it's not even like this a, a build that was grinded or nothing. Like, bro, you feel me? We might be able to start with more than 30 in more than one category though like probably not just the shooting but like you feel me you might be able to get 32 defensive badges bro to start the game off like point guard start off with 32 playmaking that'd be fire 32 finishing a little od i ain't gonna lie but 32 shooting might be a little od too so i could see somebody going for that i ain't gonna lie that's tough though i ain't even noticed that at first i ain't gonna hold you so the next thing we got is off day experience and these are screenshots from the WNBA news, but it seemed like 2K trying to give us news for all my players, but within the WNBA news. I ain't even gonna lie, that's a smart tactic, you feel me? Really knocking down two birds with one stone, but I really just don't see 2K making this news only for the WNBA players, unless they about to drop us some news for the rest of the my players, and it's even more fire, like, <laughs> you feel me? Like, not saying the WNBA can't have no no juice, but to get them some fire like this right here, like like those new badges, you feel me, was just in the WNBA news. And we know they not gonna give them just extra badges and then not give us nothing, like you feel me, like like that really wouldn't make sense. But this news right here too, this is pretty much pointing at the WNBA, but at the same time, like bro, this gotta be for all my players so right here bruh they say this year we added three new playable activities to the off day experience for you to participate in so that's gonna be things that you can do in between your games like if you play in my career i know a lot of people play my career by grinding multiple builds and this would be something that you really could make just your grinding quicker and everything so Right here, it says scrimmages would be a great way for you to practice with your teammates in a short game, lasting only one quarter. So that's pretty much just one of the three things that you could do in between your games and everything, in between your NBA games. So, for example, if you got a game versus the Nets on December 15th, you play that game, and then instead of it just, like, simulating you through two days, and then you go straight to the 18th where you play in the Lakers. The 16th and the 17th, you feel me? You could play like a scrimmage those days. And they said they got three different modes, you feel me? Three different things. That's tough. So that's for the WNBA news, but that gotta be for all my players, bro. Not even gonna hold you. It's no way. Yo, because that's fire. Like, yo, especially if you play my career, bro. Because I know not everybody play my career, but some people grind bills a lot. Some people just like my career. You feel me? And that really is just make grinding easier, bro. Not even going to hold you. But you could do a scrimmage, and it's just two other modes they got for you. That's heat, though. So that's another way to grind your badges. And, bro, I know that my career grind, bro, is... Bro, it's aggravating, bro. <laughs> Not even gonna hold you. Like, if you gotta grind a player in a career, bro, it's aggravating having to go just game after game. So, they giving you something to do on your off days to grind badges and everything. That's tough. And you still got the NPCs and everything. All kind of events. They pretty much told us everything we gotta do to grind rep and everything. Or grind XP. We got those screenshots in the other video, you feel me? But, another thing we still don't know we don't know what game mode is going to be the best mode to get rep in. And, bro, this year, a lot of legends on next gen, bro, grinded they rep in the rec. And, yo, that's real different between every other year because everybody always played in the park, bro. Everybody boosted in the park, everything, bro. You feel me? Nobody even was boosting in the park this year, bro, for real. For like, it was, it was a little boosting, but, yo, for real, for real, that was mainly on current gen. <laughs> like, Nobody was really doing nothing with rep in the park, bro. Like, if you was in the park, you was really just trying to sauce up or, you feel me, you just like park, for real, for real. If you was grinding for rep, you was in the rep. But we got to see what exactly, because, bro, 2K could come out and 
all of this talking good, if they not giving us the rep we need, like if we get in, cause we is gonna have affiliations. So if we get in half rep and affiliations again, bro, it's gonna be the same, bro. We not gonna wanna go to another affiliation. And if we already not getting a rep anyway, we not even going to play certain game modes. If you remember, they said they going to be giving us matchmaking and everything pretty much for like 2v2, 3v3 games and everything. So if you got matchmaking for that and you not getting a rep in that, bro, what's the point of having it? You feel me? Like, I hope 2K do this right, bro. For real, for real. I ain't even going to hold you. But let me know what y'all think, bro. Let me know what y'all think about the new badges and let me know what y'all think they actually do because the new badges really seem like new badges to me bro i'm not even gonna hold you like <laughs> you can't tell exactly what they do but let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit that like button hit that sub button and i'm gonna hit y'all in the next one